All right. Uh, phase diagrams. State does not just depend upon temperature, nope. but pressure. Pressure is also a factor. Pressure. All right. Now you've seen these before. Phase diagram of water. Interesting thing about this, of course, is that um, uh, let's just kind of diagram this. There's this thing called the triple point. What's that mean, Mr. Sanders? Uh, that's the point at which the solid, liquid, and gaseous phases all exist simultaneously. Only happens at one specific temperature and pressure. That's exactly right. So they exist at the same time, in temperature and pressure. So for water, which would be heavier, if it's 0 0.006 atmospheres. That's very low pressure. And a 0 0.01 degrees Celsius. Very, very cold. The substance will be at a triple point. Hmm. It's very, very cool. And so um, we can have ice. So if, I, if I'm at one atmosphere, which uh, tip, most people live close to one atmosphere, if you heat this up, this would be zero degrees Celsius, and this would be 100 degrees Celsius. But like for where we live, we live at 0.75 atmospheres. There won't mm -hmm. be a whole lot of difference, but it's going to be here and here. Yeah. So it's going to uh, melt at a slightly different temperature, although melting is pretty constant. It doesn't change yeah. a whole lot. Nope. Where the uh, temperature change, or the boiling point, pardon me, really does. Yeah, interesting thing on this particular phase diagram, it shows us the actual scale. Yeah. You can see that line is almost straight up and down for the freezing point. It yeah. hardly changes at all. Yeah, so yeah, exactly. But this is an important thing. So, But if I were to take... Um, well, actually, an interesting application to this. If I uh, have an ice skater, right, uh -huh. and they oh, get yeah. on the ice... And they, uh, so ice is a solid, yep. right? Okay. And then they have their blades hitting yeah. the ice. So a lot of weight pushing down on a very small area is going to have a very It's going to increase the pressure. And what's pressure. it going to do? I didn't draw that very straightly, but straightly, very straight. And it's going to melt the ice. It is. And then uh, actually, so when the skater is skating, they're actually not skating on ice. They're no. skating on a very thin sheet of water. Water. That's why it's so stinking slippery. Yes, indeed. In fact, we experienced Kind of like this morning, this driving morning. into work. Yeah, we live in the mountains, and they had this sort of flash snowstorm. And I uh, slipped off the highway. Actually, not off the highway. I slipped on the highway twice. Almost hit this poor lady. Somehow, I avoided her. Or actually, I think she avoided me. And uh, I got on the side streets, and the snow was much better. Why is the snow better than a slick sheet of ice? Uh, because it's not compressed and it's not yeah, all, it's not it's rough. Yeah, you put a little bit of water on yeah. top of some ice, and it's just. I have studded snow tires. I got here just fine. I have just tires. I have a four by four. Uh, interesting uh, little diagram here. Of course, uh, here. What is the top of Mount Everest? We were wondering what it was. I was oh, yeah. speculating four hundred. I was way. Wrong. I thought it might be two hundred and forty. Mm. So the boiling point <laughs> is seventy, and a uh, Leadville, Colorado, not terribly far from where we live. Um, in 510. Okay. Uh, Madison, Wisconsin. No, no, I don't believe that. Yeah. 900 feet above sea level? Oh, 900 feet. Oh, 900 feet above sea level. I was looking for yeah. something about 8,000 feet. Nothing in 8,000 feet land. No, that's where um, we are. So we're somewhere between Mount Washington and Leadville. Yeah, that's why we're, our vapor pressure is like or, or 570 or whatever. Yeah, yeah so just, that's just information to have. Oh, and one other thing is that um, we should talk about. Most um, phase diagrams, solid liquid gas ones, have more of a shape like this. This is the phase diagram of uh, carbon CO2. dioxide, CO2. And um, what you notice here is that the slope of this line is more this direction, positive, where the slope for water is actually negative. Mm -hmm. The slope for water is negative. It's actually a very, very rare occurrence. The slope for um, most things are positive. Mr. Bergman, what's the critical point? You know, I just had that thought, thought. We have not talked about the critical we have point. Not. You know, but if you get above the critical point. Yeah, very high pressure, in terms very of high temperature. temperature. Actually, just to get above the temperature. If you get oh, above yeah. the temperature, and so for carbon dioxide, it's not very high, really, mm -hmm. but it's very high for liquid carbon dioxide, 30 degrees yeah, Celsius. It's pretty substantial It will pressure always, pressure. always, always be a gas. Yep. It can never be anything but a gas. So it will be a gas above this. See, the molecular motion is so fast, the molecules are moving so fast with the relation to each other, they will never connect to each other. So that's called the critical point. And it's a critical temperature is almost a better way to think of it. Because this whole thing, it's, notice it's a straight line. Sometimes they call this the critical temperature instead of the critical point. All right. Any uh, last comments, Mr. Sams? No, the podcast? no. All right. good. I think we're good. We'll Alrighty. see you guys last or later. Later. I can't talk today. I have problems. Bye-bye. <laughs>